I'm here with Dan. We're talking about dark spore. Now this this isn't the same kind of spore we're used to playing, right? No, totally not. It's an action RPG from Axis. We will really like the kind of action RPG gameplay. We want to bring something new. But John, we've got this great feature editor. We've made spore awesome, right? But we've got this tech. We thought, well, we got these parts in an action RPG. Let's put them together, bring that creativity, and bring that kind of meaty action RPG gameplay that people want and expect, you know, from a real RPG in the industry. So tell me a little bit about Dark Spore. What's going down in Boogie Town? How are we getting down in this game? <laughs> Dark Spore is a game where you're trying to sort of bring this infectious viral DNA under control. We call it eDNA. And it's infecting the life forms on these planets. So you go down to these planets, you cleanse the planet, purify all the creatures on there, grab the DNA, your computer stabilizes it for you so you can power up your own guys. Without you, it just keeps spreading, keeps going viral. Spore was known for its incredible creature creator. Are we going to be creating creatures in this game, or are we going to be set off with a few set characters? We use these particular characters that have these personalities and these abilities, and you build on top of them. You take these parts, they become your power-ups, they level your guys up. You get a new guy, you take these parts and snap them on in the creature editor. But you also get this identifiable silhouette. Like, when a guy pops in, you're playing multiplayer with your friends, you know, like, hey, that's a guy that I've seen before. I know what his powers are, but he looks badass, because this guy's got spikes on his head. He's got this cool helmet on, right, stripes everywhere. But you know what's going on, you know how to play with him, you know how to react. And how simplistic are you guys making the gameplay? I mean, because I know a lot of the people who played sport, you know, that was sometimes it was their first foray into character creation, yeah. and now you guys are giving us, you know, dark sport. So it's a really interesting game, because on one hand, this genre is really known for being very easy to play, accessible, pick up and go, all with the mouse if you want. But we also wanted to bring a real team element to it and a real challenge. So we've got this ramp where you can go back and replay the levels that you've done, but as you get better and better, each level becomes like a new achievement. We randomize the levels. If you can't beat the one you're at, you go backwards, pick up some new loot, play through, try out new enemies, use the AI director to sort of pace it out with new guys and new layouts. But when you get to that next tier, you unlock a new guy, you keep going, push yourself harder and harder. Now, Spore was one of those games that was definitely community driven. Is Dark, is Dark Spore going to have that same kind of feel with it? We're going to build a new community for Dark Spore. We're really focusing in on like using the power ups, using the action skill element of the game. So the community is going to be much more focused on both the creativity of the creatures and the skill level of the players involved. We're really driving for kind of like an esports kind of feel. People playing online with your friends, proving that you can get to the higher and higher tiers of the game.